Okay, welcome to the VIB Podcast, episode 285. I'm Jonathan Taylor, along with... David Dutton. <laughs> are we shooting a podcast right now? We are shooting mm-hmm. a podcast. We're do, actually doing a video and an audio podcast all at one time. That's actually kind of leads into our topic today, Dave, because as you can... Uh, some people can't see if they're listening to audio, but we're actually doing this on a multi-platform today where we're doing audio, but we're also doing video here at one of our favorite spots right we, we spent a lot of money <laughs> like tricking out our studio uh it's in a uh, secret location yeah we call it books a million that's what we call the studio we call it books a million you, you see from <laughs> this this brick wall behind us we got this we got a great backdrop and we pay them every month right yeah for this. a lot of money so <laughs> sponsors if you're out there we need some more so um, and this is i mean this is a place that we hang out it's right here in spring hill we come here um it's nice, especially during the summertime, it's nice just to kind of get together. Yeah, the weather's nice now, so yeah. we can actually do video, and yeah. we want to do a lot more of these instead of just audio. But right. it, when it's cold, then we just sit inside, and, you know, people know us now because we come in here so much and shoot the audio. Absolutely. So, Well, today we're going to talk about uh, multicasting, repurposing content, getting it out there, getting your name out. Um, we get questions even on our show from uh, time to time on, on podcasting, but uh, more and more people want to get their, I guess, build their platform and and whatever niche they're doing, Dave, one of the best ways to do it is, I mean, it's it's never been a better time today with so many opportunities through, uh, you know, through podcasting. You got iTunes, you got Stitcher Radio now. Stitcher Radio, from what I hear, will be available in all brand new, mo- you know, all the new models uh, the new car model starting next year. Oh, They'll have wow. St- Stitcher included. So, That's crazy. So your podcast is automatically in front of anyone that that buys a new car, you know, has a new vehicle. Yeah. It automatically comes equipped with Stitcher radio. You got, I mean, video is so, is so crazy um, how much, you know, video is just taking – Mm-hmm. It's just dominating right now. So when we talk about like repurposing content, just in case somebody hasn't done this, maybe they're brand new and they've never even heard that term. What are we actually? What are we talking about when we talk about like repurposing? Taking a message like what we're doing here, and getting my. I think I, you know. I think in terms of getting mileage out of your content. So um, you know, it, it, it's about working smarter and not harder. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think in terms of if I'm going to write something or if I'm going to record something. I would like personally to get more mileage out of that. I'd like to get, I'd like to get that. If I'm going to record something on audio, I'd like to get on video too, because I can post that on YouTube. Well, that's why I like doing video first yeah. because and then you, you hit all, you hit all of those. Yeah. So basically, what we're saying is, if you're going to you know record any type of content, then basically see what you can do to get more mileage out of right. it, and we'll, and we'll give you like real world examples mm-hmm. in, in just a minute of what we've done and are doing with some clients so um a a good report by the way is um if you get mike uh if you go over to and i don't even know what the url but we can post it in our our show notes this week but mike koenig's uh keenix or i don't know how you think uh, it's keenix keenix yeah he's got a great new report called you everywhere now and it's a free report you can get it um obviously you know the bat is it's there's an upsell for his new traffic geyser program which um, I've used in the past. I think they've got a new and improved version mm-hmm. now. But have you uh, actually read the report? Yeah, yeah. The report is is very all right. Good. What do you, yeah? What do you think? Like, what was the, like a takeaway, or um, why do you, why do you say it's good? It, it, it's got some good case studies in there. Like, mm-hmm. uh, I'll give you one example. One guy who started a fishing podcast, mm-hmm. and I think I, I may have been telling you about this, but the guy that had had been fishing uh, just started fishing maybe a year ago, uh, so he's not it's not someone that's been a fisherman forever so and he starts a fishing podcast called the world's greatest fishing podcast okay i love that freaking title <laughs> that's awesome the, the world's greatest fishing podcast yeah and he posts it and so automatically you know that title alone i mean is is like you said it's awesome but um but he's not i mean he's not been in this industry but he's got uh, you know, he built like 25, 30,000 subscribers. Um, he built a huge, like, uh, his Facebook page. I mean, and most of his marketing came from like targeting other groups that were in the fishing community and letting them know, Hey, I got this new podcast show. Um, and just kind of 
you know, honing in on that specific target. Mm-hmm. And, but he basically built this huge show that he posts uh, podcast episodes and everything like that. So, um, And they have other case studies in that report? Yeah, yeah. There's other case studies that they cite um, just like him. I, his stood out to me the most because here's a guy that – had only been i mean he was like a newbie in fishing and starts a show on right. fishing you know and called it the world's greatest fishing show you know it's it's yeah. um it's kind of interesting but but i just said uh, it goes to show you you know you there's multi-purpose in content he can take the uh the the podcast that he's got uh his audio podcast his video podcast he can put that on multiple channels and then you can post, you know, you can have that transcribed too. You know, the, the third option, Dave, is like stuff that we've done is use transcribers. You can transcribe the content and get it out there as well. Mm-hmm. Let me give you a case study of an example of what we're doing very, very successfully in, uh, with, uh, with a doctor client of mine. Mm-hmm. And, and uh, if you've listened to any other podcast Jonathan and I have done, then you've heard me talk about um, this doctor client. And so we started, well, actually, this month is a year. Mm-hmm. Uh, I started a year ago uh, with this client, um, and he's he's a he's an eye doctor. Right. And so what we did w- is we we chose one particular disease that he helps with, mm-hmm. and we got people. He had a list of like two thousand or four thousand subscribers, and on his email, and we asked them, <coughs> excuse me, their top questions, top three questions about. Uh, this retinitis pigmentosa. That's mm-hmm. this eye disease. And these people are going blind, and, right. and he, he helps these people recover vision. And so we got over 100 questions. Yeah. I filtered them, mm-hmm. and then we went and did a teleseminar where, where people call in, mm-hmm. and um, they they didn't really actually need to be there, to be honest with you. <laughs> right. <coughs> they, didn't, they actually didn't need to be there. We actually had the questions, mm-hmm. and I played host – Yep. and asked the doctor the questions, and he we recorded it. Mm-hmm. And so we had the audio that we gave people that they could download. Yep. We well, then actually mm-hmm. had it transcribed, and we turned it into a consumer awareness guide. Right. We cleaned it up, yep. made it look nice, and then we actually um, made it into individual blog posts. Right, right. So, you know, so then we had content for, mm-hmm. for months. Mm-hmm. Well, then... Um, so we had that. Well, after we took the transcript, I turned it into a Kindle book right. recently. And so so we have that. And then now uh, I'm actually waiting probably sometime next week. I actually have the proof copy mm-hmm. of the physical book yep. for, for um, Brett and Titus Pigmentosa. Yeah. And so now we got you know we've got all these things, all these and then out I took there. the audio mm-hmm. and put it in, and uploaded it to Kanaki, right? Which I know Jonathan's talked about before, and, turn and that into a, a physical, CD physical CD that we mail people, right? And uh, it's up on Amazon, and so we've got all these ways where people can actually just trip just on come us, a, come across, you. yeah, absolutely. And they just they you know there and then they you see them. There's that, and then if I think if they see you. Everywhere, yeah, you know. I mean, you know, um, another example of what we did when I say see everywhere is the next disease, which is macular degeneration. Mm-hmm. Is we instead of doing a teleseminar, we actually did a webinar and I recorded it in a split screen mm-hmm. and I recorded it. So you saw me, and you saw the doctor, right? And then, um, I think he answered like 40 questions. We we're on for like, yeah. I mean, he killed it for like an hour, right. a little bit over an hour with just all the talking and stuff. Mm-hmm. But like, um, we got on there, recorded the video. I chopped up every video into every individual question yeah. into an individual video, right. and we had forty or fifty videos right there out on YouTube. Man. <laughs> and then, of course, I had it transcribed, yeah, and had the audio. And so, um, that's actually my next step, starting next week mm-hmm. um, um we've already made it to a beautiful consumer awareness guy yeah. with pictures and all that and we have the audio i need to put it on a physical audio uh, cd for right. people um and then also uh make it into a kindle but i'm going to start doing the the physical book for yeah. macular degeneration uh next week so and you've got all of these out of one a year ago yeah yeah out, well, out, I, out of one piece of content that you that was recorded one hour of time with the doctor and we got all that you got all of that content Mm -hmm. not only that that you could take i mean you could even get take that further and use a lot of that to put 
to post many blog posts and things like that mm-hmm. on, on the website and little tips and things like that. So, I mean, you can get so much mileage out of one, 40, what was that, 45 minutes? or Yeah, it took, but we got about an hour and a half okay. invested, uh, like, with the doctor. Now, obviously, mm-hmm. I've spent time doing all that stuff, but, like, um, but here's the thing. Once you do it, it just, it's out, right. it just sits out there. Yeah. You know? And people... You know, we, of course, we have the phone number and his website yeah. in the book and the audio. And so it's just another, you know, way to reach people. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's so many ways that you can do this. I know I've taken, you know, on, on one end, it, you know, video screencast tutorials that, that, you know, DVD tutorials, but then taking the individual uh, videos out of those and posted those on YouTube. So I'm still getting not only... Um, you know, getting mileage out of the DVD sales, but also some of the individual sections that you post on YouTube, Mm -hmm. um, you're getting mileage out of the videos Mm because you're getting, you know, you're getting, um, you know, YouTube AdSense, you Mm -hmm. know, from that and you're getting links back to your site. So, um, you know, whatever, you know, whatever mileage, you know, it's, it, and it's my intention to take a lot of our audio podcast and to simply put some, uh, I'm going to, you know, I want to hire somebody to put some, add some, you know, just some, background effects um and and turn those into mp4s and then put them up on on youtube oh, YouTube, yeah you know, more traffic just another tra- a way to get mm-hmm. to generate traffic because we get a, a significant amount of traffic just from youtube alone so why not increase that mm-hmm. even more from all of the audio content that you have i, I think like two things one these are like what i call one to many actions yeah you know you do one mm-hmm. book that gets exposed to many right you know amazon has millions of people going to the, pl- you know, going to yeah. that site. Right, right. And so, you know, they can trip over your, you know, Absolutely. your content. Yeah. Um, the other thing I like it too is like if you go out on a boat and you go fishing, mm-hmm. well, I'm not even a fisherman, but obviously I know the more fishing poles I have in my boat, <laughs> yeah. the more likely, <laughs> likely I'm going to catch a fish. You're catch one. And, and then not only that, one. yeah, I was going to say, sometimes <laughs> a big one, yes. So I think it's, I mean, it's huge. So it's just, you know, sticking, sticking that content out there. But yeah. Um, some of the serv- tell me some of the services like I'll, I'll give I'll, I'll share some of my resources okay. and maybe you share some of the, some of yours that okay. you've actually got you know to help get this stuff done okay and we're, we're not we don't have any endorsements this is just a random thing but so just some tools some, yeah just some, some tools. things that we use to put this all together um, well you know we could talk about the we could talk about equipment we could talk about some of the services I'll t- I'll, I'll mention some equipment first of all to start with is um, you know audio equipment like we get so much mileage out of this thing right here I mean you've heard Dave and I over the years I love it the zoom h4n I don't know how many times we've used this for a podcast that we've been able to take and post it you know post the audio it goes out to itunes and stitcher radio and all that stuff you know in addition to all of our other shows um but this is just one little i mean one little recorder that you can get a ton of mileage out of i got like i spent three hundred dollars for for the recorder Mm -hmm. uh two mics actually like this mic right here yeah i've got the same thing um i don't even think and maybe some a couple sd cards i think whatever but it was like 300 total and it's almost a business in a box. Yeah. You know, I mean, you could, you know, just record audio. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we recorded on the back of a pickup truck at yeah. Dan Miller's oh, yeah. place <laughs> at a seminar. And you would think we're in a recording studio, yeah. but we're on the back, sitting on the tailgate of a truck out in the field. Yep. You and know? did a video with, using the same thing that we're doing here with the video camera on us uh, in one particular time while we were there as mm-hmm. well. So we got yeah. some traction on the video and the audio podcast mm-hmm. um so there so there's an audio example mm-hmm. uh a video i mean you know if you want to you could literally just use start out with your iphone mm-hmm. and just shoot some video i'm um, not a pro um we might want to put a link to iphone hero oh yeah that's a great product on it how is. to just use your iphone mm-hmm. i know one little tip and i'm not an expert at this at all but i know one little tip is when you do shoot video make sure you shoot it from the side ah, instead yeah, of horizontal. up and down yep. yeah um, because uh, you want that way you won't have those black yeah. lines in the video or whatever yep. so always shoot sideways yep. um, but you know you can go get like one of those uh, I think it's called a gorilla mic stand mm-hmm. you know you can do that that right. will hold you know hold the iPhone yeah and then you can go get a $25 adapter mm-hmm. that will hook a lavalier mic 
up to your iPhone, so the right. audio is great. Absolutely. And so that now you've got you know you've got your video mm-hmm. right there, and I, again I like video, so mm-hmm. you can get strip the audio. Just Google some software uh, that will strip audio from video. Yeah, that's how I did it. There's free software out there that will do it. Mm-hmm. I can't think of the one that I use right now, but I've used it for a while, and you know, but there's a lot of free ones out there. Just yeah. go grab that. Um, so that's a video thing. Just, I mean, there's tons of there's so many things. There's so many things, do. but what I was trying to do is maybe helping somebody get started mm-hmm. and not being overwhelmed and. And yeah, too. Don't thing. I mean? Don't worry so much about the equipment as much as about the content, getting the content <laughs> out itself. I mean, your iPhone, like you said, has got a great uh, a great video camera. It's also got an audio recorder on there. Mm-hmm. But like you said, you only need to record it in one. Um, if, if you know, you're better off recording a video of yourself because you're guaranteed to have an audio from that. All right. So you can uh, get yourself one of these little. Um, uh, what do they call a? Uh, auto or auto, uh, was it ollie or something like that um the the uh the car the car mount for your iphone oh I was yeah you i was wondering but yeah and you can mount that in your car and just while you're traveling you know i've recorded some podcast video podcast um just driving using that travel time mm-hmm. you know using that time to record content You know, you could record a video real quick of you driving. You can, I mean, and you're not looking at the camera. Obviously, you're looking straight ahead and pay attention to the road. But it's just a great way to record some content, get it out there, and you can use that to create, you know, you can uh, get an MP3 out of that. Then you've got the video, too. So that one, say you're driving 30 minutes to work or 30 minutes to whatever your destination is, you're recording as you're driving, you're mm-hmm. paying attention to the road, but you've automatically, just from that one recording, you've got two pieces of content that you can get out. So from that 30 minutes, you've created you know, two different places right. that you can post that and two different sources of, tra- you know, two different ways people can uh, come to your site through not only iTunes and, and Stitcher Radio, but also through YouTube and mm-hmm. Vimeo and you know, Viddler, all these other video sharing sites that you can post that stuff out to as well. As well. Yeah. And so if you want to do tech, so, you know, you can go get it transcribed. There's tons oh, yeah. of resources. There's one called a uh, Rev, R-E-V. Mm-hmm. I know Cliff Ravenscraft uh, posted a thread in Facebook about a week ago mm-hmm. of looking for a transcriber. And it was a really good thread. <clears throat> people are posting and some of them were the same, like, hey, I've used this person yeah. and yeah. five other people. And so I actually made a list. I don't have it memorized, but like I actually took that thread and just wrote down all the resources or whatever. And, um, you know, I, I still use the old one that you recommended a long ago. We scribe. In fact, I used oh, wow. melody, uh, from we scribe it for our last, <coughs> for the last, that's awesome this, for this, in, the, uh, the selling on the green book yeah. that we just did. Cause I had her do a number of them and they were back within, you know, within the next day. I mean, and they were very accurate. I was mm-hmm. impressed with the uh, with the quality. Now, she may not be the cheapest, but their service is great. Yeah, wescribeit.com. That's a, a great one. Mm-hmm. Uh, look at Rev, allcustomcontent.com. Oh, yeah. Um, What's, oh, Rev is... Rev, there's another name that it goes uh-huh. by, and I was trying to think of what it's called, <laughs> but um, if you Google, like, Rev, R-E-V, mm-hmm. and transcribing, you'll find it. Because okay. I know when you go there... I think they just did a rebrand or mm-hmm. something. It was another domain on there, but um, that's another one. And then, of course, um, <laughs> I've used Fiverr a lot mm-hmm. um, because you can get 10 minutes of audio transcribed yeah. for 5 bucks. So let me tell you what, kind of one of my little, I don't know if it's a trick. I, th- I feel like it's a hack. Mm-hmm. But so when you do videos, not all videos like this, but when you do video, um, two to four minutes in length is great for YouTube. Mm-hmm. So just one particular yeah. topic. And so if you shoot, you know, a couple of videos, two to four minutes, <clears throat> right. you can get two or three or maybe even four videos oh, transcribed yeah. for $5 yeah. because they'll do 10 minutes of audio yep. for $5 on Fiverr. Yeah. So now you can take that transcript mm-hmm. and put it in the description of the – uh, of the video right. you can put a description in youtube right. and so that will help with traffic and then you could also take it and put it on your blog mm-hmm. and embed the video and that will help with traffic as yep. well so that's just a little thing that's one of the little hacks that i've done yep. a lot i'll just go get you know my videos transcribed and mm-hmm. 
and, and rock that. What's a, what, typically on the price that you're paying for? Uh, you, I, a lot of these places are basing it on the, the, the length of the audio. Yeah, you know what? I wish I knew because mine, I, I, the, one of the reasons why I don't know is just mm-hmm. simply because it's um, it just runs a gamut. Okay. Because I'll get... You'll buy like a, so much... Yeah, a lot of times they'll do by the minute, like a yeah. dollar a minute or mm-hmm. something like that. But I, um, it just depends on the project. Right. So, like, if I need something cleaned up or really good, like <clears> a book, <throat> you know, like if we did an interview, if we're transcribing this, mm-hmm. and I knew this podcast was going to be turned sure. into a chapter in a book right. or a whole book, right? Then I would actually I would pay more, yeah, to uh, have it just done sure. really well, whatever that number is. Mm-hmm. So I think it's something like a dollar a minute, a dollar twenty a minute. Okay. I know, you know, if it's like medical or something like that, yeah. you know, it can go higher, yeah, it's but a little bit higher. And if, if there's general, two, they usually a lot of places like we scribe it. I know they charge more for if there's two people involved than one person because you've got two people in a conversation, so it's a little bit tougher. Mm-hmm. So they charge a little bit more. So it really depends on um, on what, but. You know, generally for 45 minute interviews that I was having transcribed through, we scribe it was, uh, I was paying around 60 to, I think around 60, 60 bucks. Yeah. So that's cool. Yeah. Did she format it and everything or, or or is it, I mean, it was, it it was pretty raw. I mean, it was in a word format. So, but it was not format. I mean, Mm -hmm. it wasn't, I mean, they would have like, when the the second person was changed i mean so it was like raw mm-hmm. audio transcription so it wasn't edited yeah. into a format that looked like it was just readable right you know, readable right. text it just looked like a transcription so uh a couple more resources uh mm-hmm. like odesk.com yes. i've been hiring a lot off there mm-hmm. uh, mostly overseas although i do see an option uh i wish it was more targeted but like, like the other sites but mm-hmm where you can just do North America or, yeah. or wherever you live. Um, but, you know, th- that's an option as well mm-hmm. for transcription, but also, like, cleaning it up yeah. as far as, you know, the format, making it look good mm-hmm. or whatever. Um, again, th- I mean, y- you'd have to talk to us specifically as far as depending on what we're doing, but mm-hmm. um, create space is oh, something yeah. you could use the text for. Besides on your blog, sure. you can use create space to actually do a book right. and actually you know, put it out there. Now, mm-hmm. I'm not saying that we totally recommend it. Yeah. Um, there's just, it just depends on what you're trying to do. Yeah. Whatever. Right. I think it's a great option for certain, for, uh, sometimes, and sometimes I don't think it is. Yeah. But that's a really another depends option. depends on what, you, what your goal yeah, is. Yeah, what your goal is. You know, uh, you know, it's an Amazon-owned company, and it goes mm-hmm. right to, um, you know, it goes right to Amazon. So yeah. they upload it to it. So you're in. Some, once you get it up there, right? You know, you can start getting traffic to your site. Right. That's a positive. Absolutely. You know. Um, well, one so. of the examples on the selling on the green book that we did, each you know, we had each of the authors, and we've mentioned this before, but each of the authors submitted a chapter but in addition to that I did interviews with each of them and so those interviews became an added value for the book and I mentioned this on a previous podcast where I was able to add um, audio, free bonus audio interviews included with the book so it's adds bonus adds a you know adds value to mm-hmm. whatever product you have if you can add something like a you know audio onto your book mm-hmm. um, so in addition to that I would take those links to those audio interviews and then uh, create a audio CD um, called Secrets uh, Secrets of the Green. I forgot. I can't even remember the title of it, but it's a back end offer in our book. Yeah. That is a compilation um, of all of those interviews, but it's also got a bonus from uh, the guy that did our forward, Larry mm-hmm. Jackson, mm-hmm. that wasn't in, that I didn't have a link in there. So they're actually getting something that they wouldn't get in the book Mm -hmm. by ordering off of that CD. So, but it's just turned, so I've taken those interviews, multi-purpose, uh, multi purpose them for not only links in the book that they can click on and get those interviews, but then at the end of the, at the, you know, at the end of the book, there's a offer for, uh, an audio CD called secrets to, to selling on the green or secrets from the pros or something like that that we put in there. And it's a CD, it's a physical CD that they can order off and get a free copy of and, you know, free shipping and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So, um, it's just something, so, you know, it's taking all that content and finding new ways to take that. And then, you know, from some of those interviews that we've had transcribe, 
those can be taken and used as blog content. I mean, there's so many things. I mean, there's so many ways to get multiple mileage out of this for this project mm-hmm. um, that we can keep running and running and running and running with. Yeah, so. absolutely. Well, we, we, on this podcast, our goal is just to kind of talk about you know what you can do to repurpose your content, what that is, and yeah. why you want to do it, and, mm-hmm. and uh, just kind of give you some ideas of, of how we're doing it in the real right. world. That's actually generating, mm-hmm. you know, generating more business. Yep. And um, so just really think about what I would say is, if you're going to do something, see what you can do. Like what what you said is get the most mileage out of yeah. it. If you're going to do it, you know, see if there's a better way to do it before yeah. you actually take that action. See if there's a, a better way like you did this a little bit more effort Mm -hmm. what could we do like can we get on video instead of just audio yeah you know or instead of writing it can we do audio stretch this message out as yeah as Mm -hmm. many ways as possible um that's perfect another one that we didn't really kind of cover but is an option too because i've got some um the next few episodes or some interviews on people that are doing uh repurposing uh public domain content and I mentioned that because actually <laughs> for this book, selling on the, the book that I did, Selling on the Green, I actually was worried that even with all the interviews that I would still be short of a page count. So I actually had planned, I had a plan B, and I had gone through and researched, and I had, some, I had found some books that matched um, like uh, golf and business mm-hmm. <laughs> that were in public domain. Really? That I was going to literally take and use, and they were on standby to use as – filler content for the book and uh and those are actually so i've got i didn't use them in the book but i'm going to use them as uh bonus reports now that i can put and post on our website selling on the green well that's a great i I gotta be honest with you that's a great teaser and slash transition (laughs) into the next episode the next episode yeah that's a that's i gotta give you props on that one that was pretty good i was shocked that there's public domain like golf and business Absolutely, that's amazing. Got on uh, Google's public do- or public's their um, the Google Books mm-hmm. search that you can get on, and you can actually search for public domain books. I found some that were, un- I mean, I-, I found like two or three pages of book listings in the public domain on golf, and, and I went through some of them. Some of them didn't qualify, but they- because they were written kind of like uh, the the written style was just not. Yeah, not you know it was definitely like it felt like 18th century speaking, <laughs> right. but it's actually some of them were actually written, just like you would be talking today. Mm-hmm. And I was I was impressed, and I actually made a folder of like the public domain fo- the public domain books that I wanted to use yeah. in case I needed to use some of these for my book, which I didn't have to, but I'm still going to use them at some point as content. Oh, right. Yeah, that's so, out there. And and this is not a public domain episode, but yeah. wa- listen to the next episode if yeah. you don't know what public domain is Absolutely. And, and how to profit from it. He's got some upcoming interviews uh, on that. So, Very good. Cool. Good episode. Well, thanks, uh, thanks everybody for listening. As always, David, it's been fun, and uh, we look forward to catching you all next week. Have a great week. God bless.